This is a demo of a very rare unit, very hard to find info on online, uh, an ADC model MX-6 that has been somewhat modified by me. Um, it's basically a six-channel echo mixer, which upon opening it up, I found out is a stereo spring reverb unit. So enough of the talking. Basically what I've got going is the drum machine is going into channel 2. Channel 1 is not working at all. I could never figure it out. Channel 2 is going into the line slash phono in, which I made. There's also um, inputs on the back. I think they're RCA. Yes. Um, there's also microphone quarter inch inputs. A couple of other utility inputs. Um, so right now I'm panned it right but I've panned the echo to the left, so all we're going to hear out of the unit is the spring reverb. And again, it'll be the dry drums in the right channel and the totally wet drums in the left channel. <laughs> One of the other very useful things. One of the other very useful things about this unit I found was having the line and the phono input because you can quite easily distort the input to the mixer. Pretty strong. Pretty terrible, nasty, awesome distortion. Um, so that's the reverb. You can go either left, left and right, or right. It's switchable. Little King Tubby. Um, I modded it also for the main output being up there and being quarter inch, and then the spring in and spring out right there. The test tone does not work. Um, let's see, I'll just go through all the channels quickly in line mode to show that they all work. The last two channels, 5 and 6, actually have pods that are smooth moving, not clickable. So you could be used as a summing mixer for a DAW workstation, etc. Anyway, I'm going to go through all of them minus channel 1. So now we'll go into the microphone input at the back of the unit and show what kind of distortion is available there. Basically, there's a mic and then an attenuated mic position on the preamp of the unit. Pretty terrible. So then I'll turn down the output to the mixer just to see where it starts to not break up. So that's just a little bit of crunch. and that's almost no crunch. Um, one important thing is that I added direct outs for all the preamps, so you can take the microphone preamps and use them individually, each one of the five, if you'd like. 
That's about it.